On this Monday after Pentecost, the Church has dedicated it to Mary, Mother of the Church, a title that was developed at the Second Vatican Council. Mary was with the Apostles at Pentecost because at the crucifixion, Jesus said, Woman, behold your son, and to St. John, behold your mother. And it said, John took her into his home. We presume that she was, at the time of Pentecost, a lady of the Holy Spirit. She is the mother of the church, and we call the church a mother, adding that feminine side through the beauty of the church to which we belong. And Mary, by saying yes to the Lord at Nazareth, becomes the mother of our Savior. If we did not have Mary saying yes and being the mother of Jesus, there was no need for that infant church. But today we honor her in thanksgiving under that title, Mary, mother of the church. We say Mary, mother of God, no question, but it took several centuries for that. But Mary, Mother of the Church, is the title we acclaim in this, our own age, as a result of the Second Vatican Council. <laughs>